Hello, I'm Mario Tonaguzzi with Sports Spotlight. Joining me today is Mercer Timmis, who is a former University of Calgary Dinos running back and a former CFL player with the Hamilton Tiger Cats and Toronto Argonauts. Thanks for joining us today, Mercer. Thanks for having me. Well, the Fifth Quarter Association, Dinos Fifth Quarter Association group, has uh, their 39th annual dinner coming up, fundraising event for the program, May 30th, Hotel Arts. Tell me a little bit about the dinner and the importance uh, that, that you see uh, the dinner provides for the program. The dinner, yeah, no, the dinner is a massive uh, piece to the program. Uh, it's huge for the support, you know, received from the Calgary business community um, and is essential for the funds. You know, a lot of it goes to uh, scholarships for the student athletes. Um, and then another portion of it goes to the operations side of things. So it's definitely big um, and is, yeah, without it, I don't, you know, it's it's a huge reason as to why we're we're a good program every year in, year out. Let's talk about that program. Okay, so you're a kid from Burlington, Ontario. Uh, you know, uh, you played with the Dinos 2012 to 2015. How does a kid from Ontario and Burlington and Tiger Cat country and <laughs> I don't know, Guelphs around there, I guess, and other <laughs> other universities end up in Calgary and why? Well, at, uh, you know, Calgary's always been a top program. So I, I came out to recruit it out to Calgary and, you know, wanted to play for the Dinos at that time. Um, they had like a long line of great running backs. Uh, you know, it's, uh, Anthony Woodson, uh, Mel Walter, Stephen Ball, all those guys who had come before me. And so um, wanted to come play at this program and um as a top program in the country. And so as soon as I came out here, it was, uh, it was a done deal. Um, had my recruiting visit. I was actually fortunate enough to have the fifth quarter. They were a big piece of, of my recruiting visit. And uh, one of the big things I saw was just the community that was here. You saw how much it meant to not only the team, the players, um, but also the alumni and the support that it had at, from the fifth quarter. And um, yeah, it's a major reason actually why, why I'm, want to get back to the fifth quarter now and yeah. um it's a huge piece to to the success of the program all right so uh in 2013 your canada west mvp broke the record for rushing touchdowns in a season 18 total tds in a season 19 uh most tds in dino's history how would you, you, when you look back at your career, now I know probably the biggest disappointment is you, you never won the Vanya Cup, the big prize, but uh, you know, how would you describe your, your career uh, with the Dinos? Um, you know, like you said, we never, we never got the Vanya. Uh, you know, we went to one and, and um, had, a, had a few hearty cups under our belt, but I uh, know I had a phenomenal time uh, with the Dinos and, and my career. I could wouldn't change anything other than the Vanier, Vanier Cup. So, um, you know, I was lucky to play with just amazing players all across the board. Um, and then, the, again, the community um, within the team, uh, you know, a lot of guys are from Calgary and, and being an, an out-of-province guy, you know, that's uh, they welcomed me into the program, welcomed me into the environment. And, uh, like, some of these guys are I'm still very close with. So, yeah, um, yeah no, amazing, amazing time. What do you think uh, the reasons are for the success of the program itself and, and the longevity of the success? As I mentioned, uh, uh, you know, uh, the first Vanya Cup was in 1983 and uh, several uh, more came along the way in the last 40 years. Uh, what's uh, what's contributed to that success? I think a, a big part of it is just the the longstanding uh, support by, you know, the school um, the alumni in, in the fifth quarter association, it, it all combines into so many people care about how the team does every year. Um, and that reflects into, you know, every piece of, of what it does, um, whether it's, you know, the product we put out on the field, making sure that we, ha we can have enough scholarships for all, uh, all the guys um, or as many players as we can have. And so I think that constantly year in, year out, focusing on that is it, it really builds a strong foundation, strong program. And um, yeah, like there's not many programs in the country that have this kind of longstanding mm -hmm. uh, history of winning. So it's, uh, it's, it's a special thing to be a part of. What, uh, what are you doing now, uh, Mercer? 
Um, I'm actually just finishing up uh, articling. Um, so I'm so I'm in law. I'm in law. Okay, tell me, you know, yeah. when you look back at your football career and that experience, what are some of the key lessons you think you learned on the gridiron that taking you now into the courtroom or will be taking you in the courtroom? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, no, actually a lot of a lot of uh, similarities, you know, being part of a team and being collaborative and working towards the same goal. Um, I've something I've found so far, well, in my short time in this and even through law school. Um, and then, you know, just, yeah, being able to strategize and game plan was one of the things that I really enjoyed. Um, but yeah, really the, the, the team aspect of this and the similarities of that is, uh, have really brought that forward. And then also, um, the natural, you know, answers that would be like, discipline, preparation, those kinds of things that come from being a student athlete and yeah. um, foundations that those build. Yeah. Now, if uh, I don't know if you've ever uh, done this. Have you ever talked to any uh, high school players and uh, tried to convince them to come to UFC? I have. I have. I have okay. tried to convince them. Okay. What's your pitch? It's been a while. It's been a while <laughs> now, but, uh, you know, when I always try to put myself in their shoes and what, what the things that I wanted at, at that time, but uh, especially for, you know, I, I usually end up talking to to running backs and I always talk about just the longstanding history of running backs at that school, but also other players, the amount of, so if you want to go pro, um, there's not very many other places that, that you're going to find the kind of caliber, the coaching, the, you know, the, the support from the program, um, and then I, I actually always talk about the fifth quarter and how that's one of the reasons how I, I am where I am today and um, that I that I'm in Calgary, you know, as a guy who's from out of town. And um, so those are like the really the key things to be in a competitive environment and support to back it up. So I've been around the sports scene in Calgary since 1980. And, uh, and, uh, and as I mentioned to you off camera, you know, I uh, did cover the Dinos in 83, 84, when they won the Vanier Cup in 83. But one thing that has always uh, impressed me, I guess, uh, is how strong that alumni group has been since back to, in 83, I think, uh, when it was first formed around that that era anyways. Why do you think, Yeah, and, and you know, I've always said, I've never seen a more in any kind of sport, professional or, or uh, amateur, a stronger alumni. Why do you think that's so? Yeah, you know, it's a good question. I feel like a lot of it comes from, you know, the naturally the bond that people create while they're playing together, but then also, you know, the initiatives that we have to, that would continue kind of through on as your alumni and um, you know, all the events that we have with, with one another. And it's just ingrained in you how much you care about the program when you, when you come here and um, whether you're from Calgary and whether you're from out, outside of the province. And uh, yeah, I think that's a huge factor and everyone is still very close. You see guys you haven't seen in a couple of years and you pick up like, you know, you know like nothing's ever changed. And uh I think that's a pretty special feeling. Um, and mm -hmm. then other generations of, of players and, and alumni want to carry that forward through to the younger guys. So I think that constantly, that culture keeps get building through. All right, super. Well, thanks, uh, Mercer, for joining us today. Thanks, thanks for having me. All right, that was Mercer Timmis, who is a former University of Calgary Dinosaurs running back and former CFL player with Hamilton Tigecats, Toronto Argonauts. A reminder, uh, Dinos uh, Fifth Quarter Association fundraising dinner, 39th annual, is May, uh, May 23rd, sorry, May 23rd at Hotel Arts. I'm Mario Tonaguzzi with Sports Spotlight. Thanks for joining us today.